Alright, hello guys, I'm Dog123 here, and welcome back to another Minecraft snapshot. We are officially in Minecraft 1.11. You can see up there, Minecraft 16W39A, and yeah, I'm really, really excited with this. So this is the first, well, it's not technically the first snapshot of Minecraft 1.11, but this is the first one since they've announced the new features. So there's a lot of new features, so let's get straight into it. Alright, so now, for er, first, we have the new Cursed, en cursed Enchantments. These can be found um, in the jungle temples, temples, places like that. And basically, so if I put this on, we're going to switch into survival here, game mode zero. I am not going to be able to take this off. I cannot, I am clicking, and it will not let me take that off. So that's the Curse of Binding, and that can put, put on any piece of armor. And what that's going to be really good for is the new... Um, it's like map makers and stuff, if they want you to keep something on, you literally cannot take it off anymore. So that's pretty cool. And then next we have the Curse of Vanishing right here. So we're going to do, I believe it's kill. Yep, there we died. And it literally, it can, it's it just vanished. When you die, it's gone forever. So, yeah, that's going to be a new really cool feature. I think it's going to be really interesting for a lot of things. And, yeah, so next we have the, um... Observer. And basically what this is, is if this were to grow right now, which it looks like it's not going to, so we're going to place it down, as you can see right there. And you can barely see it. Let's see if I can put a lamp here, and maybe we'll get a little bit of a better. Yeah, see, it detects it every single time this status change. You can see that <clears throat> it will change, and basically this is what... it uh one block bud switch um it's been the minecraft pocket edition for a while but now we have these new things so next we have these shulker boxes right here which are crafted with a shulker shell and a chest and basically they open up like that they have a really cool animation um there's all different colors so if we go into the creative menu as you can see we have all these different colors all the different colors of the rainbow and so they can also be placed on their side like this and basically one of the main things with this is that um, hoppers will work on the side only so you can only extract them from the side I don't know what that why but it's just why they made it to do that so that's gonna be really awesome there's gonna be some really amazing amazing things coming to Minecraft because of that and if we break them I'm gonna move this way over here and it still has our shulker shells. So it's going to be really good. It's basically a backpack almost is what the word they're using. Alright, so next we have the llamas right here. They come in all shapes and sizes and different colors. And basically what these are are donkeys. Um, you can put the chests on them, but you can also put these carpets on them. So I'm going to take this carpet off real quick. Oops. And as you can see, they look kind of bland, but I can throw this amazing carpet on it right here. My texture pack is broken right now, so that's why it's in the wrong spot. But as you can see, they get these really cool coloring stuffs, um, which is really, really awesome. And over here, as you can see, I threw a red carpet on this one, and it looks pretty cool. There's also baby ones. Also, if I can somehow get them to attack each other, looks like they're not... Oh, you can hear it. They're doing their spit thingy. Um... But let's see if I can, uh, can I get you to attack these ones? Um, but they spit at their enemies that attack them. A better example for this would be the wolves. They do not like wolves. Yeah, there, right there. You can see they're spitting. It looks, it's a really, really cool animation. So next, we have something that's pretty awesome. Let me see if I can find him here. I had him spawned in at one point. He probably went over and died. Um, looks like he's not, oh, hey, there he is. So this is Zoom, ugh, the new villager. It's called a cartographer. I can't click on them because in this snapshot, they're currently broken. So they're literally unclickable. But what they will give you is a treasure map. So instead of just a normal empty map like this one, it will give you a treasure one. But I, obviously, I can't spawn that in right now because um, the cartographer is broken. But it can lead you to some really cool things. So I'm going to go ahead over and hop into another world, and I'll see you right over there. Alright, so I just hopped into another world, and basically what the really important thing here is you can get these treasure maps, and on the map, so I'm going to pull up a normal map here, there, if I, I don't know if that's the best way to show this, but right 
up like anywhere on the map it'll show a little icon and these can either be for these woodland mansions or they can be for ocean monuments so it's a really cool new way of finding it without having to search the whole world or using programs like admis to do things but another cool thing they added with this is the locate command so if i were to find we want to find a mansion so we're going to do that here so we're going to do slash tp on um, Six seven two eight. We're gonna go high up in the air because you never know. And we're gonna go negative two thousand or twenty five hundred sixty nine. No, that's the wrong spot. Good job, me ninety six. Oh no, I typed it in right. And as you can see, we're in the forest right here. Uh, roofed forest, and we have this really cool, cool mansion block or mansion block. These mansions, which are huge, and honestly, I think they're really cool in survival because you're gonna be able to find a mansion, and it's gonna be like a pre-built house for you, which I think is really, really awesome. But th as you can see, this is what the outside of it looks like. We're gonna go all the way around here, and the entrance to it is down here, right here. And if you go inside, it looks very spooky, like there's almost bad things in here. So, I mean, it would take a while. But, I mean, these are really cool areas. And, obviously, they make a really good thing to build a house out of. But, obviously, a lot of these places should be lit up because they're obviously not right now. But they even they come with farms in them. Like, that's awesome. Um, Lots of cool little farm thingies. I don't know what happened there. Um, but like they come with farms for everything. <coughs> and this is the new thing called a vindicator. <laughs> and so we're going to go ahead, we're going to grab some of this armor right here. Hmm. <coughs> And we're going to do slash game mode. <clears throat> Zero here. We're going to kill this guy. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. And you can see he's attacking us with like this axe. Which I find to be really cool. So let's kill him. And there you go. So we're going to spawn one or more of these guys in. And it also, I don't know if this is just me, but I can't see the cooldown animation for the sword, which I don't know if that's something they added or not. Look, and it just dropped an emerald, so that's really cool. Um, but that's really interesting that they don't have the cooldown animation, so I don't know if that was taken out because nobody liked it or what. But, as you can see, this is the whole mansion. Most of them are like this, but, um, I mean, obviously there's some clear glitches just with the spawning. Um, which kind of need to be worked on, but, hey, I mean, oh well, I'll come to the top floor here, like, why is there a giant chicken, like, this is just an awesome thing. <coughs> so we're gonna fly around here, there's a giant chicken, I guess they like their giant chickens, <laughs> But if you can fly around the whole thing, they even have like a boxing room area. Like this is a really cool place, and I th it, obviously it's a really good idea to build, a, you know, if you're in survival, to build an area in the mansion and, you know, just have some fun with it. Hmm. 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 And they're huge, like huge, huge. Another boxing area. I mean, some of these rooms are, you know, aren't needed, but for some, they're really, really cool thing they have. And now we have this thing right here. So we're gonna get a golden apple for ourselves, golden apple. Okay, and then we're gonna go into game mode zero. We're gonna eat this guy real fast because let's see if we can get some of these things killed. And we have this guy right here which spawns these vindicators or I that they don't spawn them they spawn these things called vexes which are really cool they're like little imp thingies and as you can see there's his animation right there so we're gonna hop back into game mode one right there but as you can see he spawns these little vex thingies that's oak wood and this guy is called an evoker obviously he evokes stuff 
Let's see if I can kill him. Come on. Good amount of health. And they drop these tokens um, of undying. And basically, I guess the best way to show this is we have this in my hand, and we're going to jump off this. Um, How much longer does that last? We're going to grab a milk bucket, too, so we're going to grab some milk. Have this. Drink it. Because I don't want those effects anymore. Zero, hold this in our hand. And goodbye. And as you can see, it saved my life. Did that really cool animation. <clears throat> and we're back at pretty good health. So, those have been the main updates in the game. Obviously, there's been some little bug fixes there and there. But overall, these have been some of the biggest updates of the game. And they're really cool. I love these mansions. I mean, some people won't think this giant mansion fits in these areas very well. I, don't, I guess there's a lava thing over there. But tell me what you guys think of the mansions and the whole new update. And tell me what you think of Minecraft 1.1. Personally, I like it a lot, and I think it's going to be really, really cool. It's going to add some new things, like awesome new things to the game, and stuff like that. So I hope to see you all in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye, guys.